On my quest for the perfect writing setup, I bought a very odd keyboard. It's called the Freeride Traveler, and its makers claim that it is the ultimate portable distraction-free writing tool. This specialized product launched in October 2018 on Indiegogo, which is a crowdfunding website like Kickstarter. Crowdfunding means that you get the awesome privilege of laying down cash for products before getting to test or use them yourself. Often, you're buying a product that doesn't exist anywhere besides the bind of its creator. I have an unlucky history with crowdfunding campaigns. In 2016, I paid the now-defunct company Pebble almost $200 via Kickstarter for their latest and greatest smartwatch. No one got the watches because Fitbit purchased Pebble and canceled the product. Fast forward two years, and with Pebble's sting having faded somewhat, I paid almost $300 for a keyboard made by a much smaller company than Pebble that had only one other product to its name. So what is the Free Write Traveler? It's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, imagine an old typewriter, except replace the keys with those from a laptop and replace the paper with an e-ink screen like the one on the Kindle. Then fold it in half. Here it is. The Freerite is a clamshell device with a glossy black coating that seems designed specifically to pull grease from my fingertips. Inside, you'll find a scissor switch keyboard like the deck for most laptops and a screen that holds a few lines of text. Before I get into how the device feels and works, it's worth discussing the troubled Indiegogo campaign. Within a day of launching in October 2018, the Freeride Traveler had earned over three times its $50,000 funding goal. The campaign went on to earn $745,000. Then came the delays. Project owner and co-founder of Astro House, the company responsible for building the Freeride Traveler, Adam Lieb, anticipated a summer 2019 ship date. His team posted regular updates to the Indiegogo campaign. Unfortunately, as summer came and went, most of the updates involve news about delays. The ship date was pushed back to November, then early 2020. When COVID-19 hit, the ship date became more nebulous still. Many backers lost their patience, posting aggressive and angry comments to the Indiegogo campaign page. Here's a couple choice examples. Backer number 705. I demand that only 704 people get theirs before me. We deserve to get ours earlier. I think we can all pretty much agree this is a farce. Two years now since my early bird purchase, and my traveler hasn't traveled a single mile. <laughs> Actually, I kind of enjoyed that last one, but I don't want to rain on people's parades here. We all paid for a product that didn't exist. Astro House was upfront in their campaign that they'd only reached the prototype stage. I won't argue that their communication was sometimes confusing, and that the product took longer than anyone wanted, but tons of Indiegogo products never ship to their backers. I'm pleased that Astro House followed through, despite obvious production troubles, many of which were caused by COVID-19. The free write eventually shipped in late October 2020. I received mine on the 28th, just in time for National Novel Writing Month, or NaNoWriMo as it's confusingly nicknamed. Let's not kid ourselves, I paid $280 for a glorified typewriter. If you try to buy one today, the price is $429, which Astro House says is discounted from the MSRP of $599. That's right, $600 for a typewriter. You could buy an entire computer for much less, but that's not the point. You're buying the ultimate portable distraction-free writing tool after all. You get four weeks of battery life, a full-size keyboard, and a 1.6 pound package, which is, I guess, supposed to be light. Frankly, an iPad Air weighs only one pound. Add Apple's Folio keyboard and an iPad Air weighs almost exactly the same as the Freeride Traveler at 1.6 pounds. But we're getting off track again. Remember, you're not buying an iPad so you can get distracted by Facebook, Angry Birds, and TikTok. You're buying the Freeride Traveler because it'll magically eliminate all your typical distractions. So how does Traveler work? You simply open the clamshell device and start typing in one of three folders labeled A, B, and C on the keyboard. Turn Wi-Fi on to sync documents to the cloud via Postbox, which in turn can send your text to Dropbox, Google Drive, or Evernote, or all of the above. Aside from that, you write. Editing is strongly discouraged. In fact, FreeWrite has no dedicated arrow keys or a touchscreen, so scrolling back to something you wrote a few minutes ago is a laborious process of using the page up key, then waiting for the slow e-ink screen to refresh. Since the screen holds only a handful of lines of text, locating a bit of dialogue even 300 words away is almost futile. But all this is intentional. You're supposed to focus only on writing, on spewing words from your mind without constantly worrying about editing. And in that, the free write is remarkably effective. Really, my only complaint in this regard is how far the screen lags behind what you're typing. My fingers might be tapping out an entire word ahead of what the screen shows, which almost breaks the experience for me. Even on a typewriter, letters appear as you strike each key. The delay can be infuriating. 
I'm not the swiftest typist, given some annoying carpal tunnel issues in my left hand, but my pace is still fast enough to trip the traveler. The second major fault also has to do with the screen. There's no backlight, front light, or any other kind of light. Because of the coronavirus, I, like most people, aren't traveling a whole lot these days, but I still like to sit on my bed and type late into the night. This is impossible with the free write, as I can see neither the keys nor the screen. So why did the folks at Astro House select a slow e-ink display? While I can't read the product designer's minds, I can guess. First, e-ink displays only draw power when you alter the text. Think about a Kindle or other e-reader. When you flip to the next page, the screen redraws the text like an etch-a-sketch. If you leave your Kindle on the same page for 10 minutes, an hour, or even a month, the screen will draw almost no power. That's how Astro House achieves a four-week battery life. Second, e-ink fits the device's aesthetic. There's an old-world feel to e-ink, and the free write is trying to emulate the feel of a typewriter. But there are still e-ink displays with higher refresh rates that can keep up with type letters. Maybe a smaller company like Astro House couldn't source nicer displays, or maybe they just wanted to save money. Or perhaps other engineering constraints interfered. I don't have the answer. All I know is the screen lag is incredibly annoying. Finally, let's discuss the keyboard itself. My overall thought is that it's good, but not great. It handily beats a MacBook's butterfly keyboard, for example, but it falls short of a Lenovo ThinkPad and certainly short of true mechanical keyboard. Astro House says they designed their own scissor switch mechanism, and the mechanism by itself feels okay. There's an acceptable amount of key travel and resistance. When I type on the FreeWrite Traveler, the whole keyboard flexes slightly under the force of each keystroke. This flex lends an edge of instability and therefore limits my satisfaction. I wouldn't go so far as to label the experience as wobbly, and it's actually better than the majority of laptop keyboards out there. But when I compare it to my ThinkPad, the typing experience is noticeably inferior. It's impressive that such a small company can build a thoroughly decent keyboard, but for $300 to $600, I wanted more. Of course, keyboard feel is a highly individual thing, so your mileage may vary. When it comes down to it, the FreeWrite Traveler is a solid product that accomplishes what it sets out to do, namely, provide a distraction-free writing experience. While there's nothing to prevent you from reaching over to grab your phone while using the Traveler, I do think the FreeWrite provides enough separation from distraction to warrant its existence, especially for those who are easily distracted. I will say that there's an entire market for distraction-free versions of your favorite gadgets. For example, the Light Phone can do little more than make calls and send texts, and it also sports an e-ink display. Then you have the Remarkable, an e-ink tablet that hopes to replace your notebook and printed documents. So the FreeWrite Traveler joins a growing list of constrained tech products that promise to make your life better by giving you less. For me, the Traveler is too pricey and too flawed to warrant a generalized recommendation. But for a writer who struggles with over-editing, this might be just the tool to drive your fingers to maximum productivity. Thanks for watching. I'm Alexander Jacobs, and I write fantasy fiction with a touch of sci-fi. I'm experimenting with this new YouTube channel where I'll discuss tools and processes for writing novels. So consider subscribing for more videos like this one, and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see next.